Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today for a very simple, gentle, slow day. It's cold, it's raining. The beginning of every day in our home starts with lighting a fire. Collecting the logs and making sure that the home is warm first before anything else. And on days when I'm at home, I just love pottering around the house. Let me know if you're someone who enjoys to potter. Taking any pressure off myself to make sure I get everything done. Just doing a few essentials. Looking after myself and taking it easy. In a world that's so go, go, go. It's a nice antidote to just go slow. Years ago, I used to think if I wasn't filling every single moment of every day, I was wasting my life. Now I hold value in actually just having space. Cooking a nice nourishing meal. And taking things a little bit slower. Today I'm making a potato and spinach curry, some dal and some rice. I'll leave the recipe links below. My favourite cuisine to cook is Indian cuisine. And I know I've got loads of Indian viewers, so a big shout out to you. And I'd love to know down below what's your favourite cuisine to cook. And we have our main meal at lunchtime in this home. And my husband is working from home, so it makes it a lot easier. And when I'm off, then I can cook the meal and we can enjoy it together. So before, when I was younger, I always felt that meals got in the way. The process of cooking, cleaning up afterwards. Whereas now I know it's vital for health and well-being. And I really value the time spent in cooking and cleaning. After dinner, I'll always just sit down for five minutes and read a book. And someone told me years ago that it's really important that you actually lift your feet up off the floor and lie down so you're fully relaxing, even if it's only for a few minutes.
I'll always have a few different things that I want to get done during the day. Today I'm just taking off the dried mint leaves to use as tea. I find it so easy to just gather a bundle, tie it in twine and hang it up to dry. It's a little bit time consuming but it's highly therapeutic and then of course you're keeping the waste at an absolute minimum. Mint is really easy to grow in the garden. It's usually better to grow it in a pot because it can take over all the other herbs. And it's really nice to be able to make the tea on the stove, which you can do all winter time. So at the moment I'm coming to the end of a two-year course on Glossarian Psychology. So I'm spending my days off just making sure that I'm getting all the reading done and getting all the coursework finished. It reminds me of years ago when I was doing the degree just spending hours and hours in the library, really enjoying getting the studying done, having that space to be able to do it. And then I found this bag in a charity shop. It was somebody's music bag. And I think just special things like having a bag for your course just makes everything special. It's the little things that count. And then we had some brown paper bags and because we reuse all the glass jars sometimes if there's writing on the lid I just want to have a neutral lid. So a little bit of brown paper cut out wider than the lid and just pop it inside. Works perfectly. So I really hope you enjoyed just coming along a few things I was pottering during the day the other day. One of those quiet, slow days. So chat as always down below or over on Instagram. And if these quiet videos are ones that you like, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll do more of them. But until then, keep it simple, have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video.